the music of someone's life really gives that person inspiration and soul. And after I met someone around the tail end of my relationship with my significant other and my spouse of many years, I started to feel the music playing within me for another soul. And as a result, almost every piece of music reminds me of that person. Whereas before that, different types of music reminded me of my spouse. But when I lost that new person, I literally could not listen to music at all. Because every country song, every jazz orchestration, and every pop music, whatever, was on the radio at the time in my car, made me think of that potential spouse that I wanted to really have as a wife. And openly, I sort of knew almost immediately that God had brought her by my prayers into my life. So heaven for me is sort of different now because the heaven that I waited for for 10 years is now in someone else's arms. And openly, I can't believe that after all the foreplay and conversation and intelligence, the partay, that that individual showed up, played around, but couldn't actually say hello. For whatever reason, she just kept on the go. And I'm standing here, literally sitting here, literally waiting here for God's words to me to be delivered. And openly, she has the audacity to say no. And the angels really have abused me with this information for years. That the one that's right for me will come and be alright. And be heaven for me. And in ten plus years, there has been very few people that can replace my late spouse. But in ten plus years, there's only been one, possibly two people that could ever replace this heaven, this woman, this trauma queen that I met ten years ago for me. And openly, over the course of my last ten years, the Lord has given me incredible signs to suggest that that's the woman for me. Almost to the point of ad nauseum, driving me to a street name in the middle of a country. And, she, and the Lord actually did that for me twice. Once for my soul flame, soul mate, and once for my twin flame. And openly, since that time, I've never been the same. 